Hey, what's up, you little dangus? All right, so today, here I am at this here creek. This is my dad. Yeah, I'm right about that. So today, I'm gonna teach you, and that means you sitting there in that seat, put down those Cheetos and listen to me, all right? Today, we're gonna catch smallmouth bass. All right, so they're a little bit different than largemouth bass in that they have a lot smaller mouths, so they whisper more often. You're gonna have a hard time hearing them. They're gonna say, wow, that was a really great pie you made last night. And you're gonna be like, sorry, can you speak up? I had the TV turned up really loud. I'm like a smallmouth bass. All right, so I'm gonna give you some advice. I'm gonna give you three tips on how to catch smallmouth bass, specifically smallmouth bass in a creek like this. Okay, you see that? That's what a creek looks like. Don't look too long. Don't cheat, okay? You're gonna get a test after this pop quiz. Step one, get you a dangle stick. Okay, you see this here? This here buckaroo? This is what you call a dangle stick, pristine. And you have to have a green handle on it. If it's not green, the bass won't bite it. Cause you know what? Bass are green, okay? Step number two, find some water. Like right over there. I'm good at finding things. Step number three, don't suck. Do you suck at fishing? Well, that's too bad now, isn't it? Why don't you stop? Because it's not working. Instead, try being good at fishing, like me. That's all you need to know. Now we're gonna catch some smallmouth bass. Two points for smallmouth, one for every other fish, and minus one for a catfish, okay? Let's get in there. Oh, you see that one-handed cast, Dad? Bet you wish you were as good as me. Now, if this soft plastic worm don't work, buckaroo, I'm gonna throw on a, a, a night crawler, because I got some nighty crawlies. I tell you what, brother, I got me some nighty crawlies today, so we're gonna end up catching something, I tell you. Now, who gets the first fish? First fish, three points. Three points for the first fish. All right, now that I have a nighty crawly, it's an easy win, I'll tell you right now. Easy win, we step in real far, we get us a fish. Now, let's just hope it's not a catfish. I don't want minus one point, okay? All right, you little dingus, and bite now. You get a bite? Let's freaking go. Oh, he got a he got a big bite. Look at him go. Oh, I got one too. Oh, dang it. I had one. <laughs> oh, he's got a big boy, whatever he's got. Screaming out line over here. I got my outfit laid on. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's Moby Dick. I think Moby Dick is a catfish. Pretty sure this is a catfish. Or a carp. Oh, a carp could also do it. Yeah, you might have a carp. Just wear this puppy out. It, it like, seems like a catfish. And it's like you think of what it is. That's great fat. Oh, I think it's, it's a, a carp. I think it's a carp. Let's go. Let's go. I haven't seen one of these in a while. That's awesome. I've never seen us catch a carp out of here. That's a big boy. It's a really nice size uh, fish on a on an ultralight. See if I can help you out. Oh, guess not. Uh, <laughs> soon, soon. Come on. Nah, he's not, uh, you're not giving up yet. Come on. <laughs> oh, let's go. <laughs> let's freaking go. Wow. All right. Yeah, do you, uh, you want to hold it? It's your fish. Oh, let's, yeah, uh, that's a piece. Let me get it. All right, we give dad four points for a carp. <laughs> what a baby. He's still sucking on fingers. All right, dad, what do you think? I think that was a blast. I'm ready for a smallmouth now. <laughs> Get him tasting upstream. Oh, there he goes, woo! That's a strong fish. He's like, I have no problems. You didn't hurt me at all. <laughs> Let's go catch him again. <laughs> <laughs> He'll never see that coming. All right, y'all, dad's on the board right now. He got a carp, four points for him, zero for Lee. Look, man, we're gonna catch a smallmouth, and I'm te I didn't tell you how to catch a carp, okay? Whatever he did, that's what you want to do if you want to catch a carp, okay? Yeah, accidentally catch that when you're trying to catch bass. That's how you catch it. Yeah, see, what, what, what he said, okay? Now I'm blocking him because, Dad, this is not your show. This is mine, okay? All right, y'all, professional advice number four. When you're not having a good time at a spot after you catch a fish or if it slows down, move spots because those fish are tired of seeing you. They're like, you're ugly. Maybe it's just because you're ugly. And you're like, shut up, you're ugly. And your mom dresses you funny. Okay, so we've had quite the slow day today and uh, we, we got that uh, carp and that's about it today. Isn't that right? A little rock bass, but... He caught two fish, so he's at a total of five points. Your boy caught zero, so we're gonna continue this another day. Uh, so stay tuned for that part. But real quick, I just wanna show you something. All right, so you see, that's where we parked over there. We came, we cut through right here in the woods, 
to get to the other side of the of the the stream, the creek. But look what was right here! What is wrong with us? We wanted an adventure. No, 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 no. I don't want adventure. I, I give for screw adventure. I've had enough of adventure for one day. I don't want to play anymore. I don't want to go through any brush anymore, any freaking thing. You take this stupid camera. I'm out of here. Hey there. Okay, so it's two weeks later now and I'm at another spot and I'm hoping to catch some small mouths. And when you're having trouble catching small mouths, just remember, move spots because sometimes they move spots too. Sometimes they get a vacation home in another stream. Sometimes they just want a little break away from their mother-in-law and who can blame them? Bite on that? You got a fish that's biting? Uh, uh well, hey. Hey, 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 buckaroo. I caught me a, a sandfish. Uh, I think this is called a fallfish, actually, because he fell, you know, obviously, as you saw. Here we go, sandy fallfish, woo! That's how you catch small mouse. And then when you get sand on your hands, you could use your shorts to wipe them on because then that way you can get the sand off your hands. That's a technique that I came up with myself. Ask my mom. Oh, you just have one-handed cast? Oh my gosh, who is this man? Nice bite. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. For this creek, that's a nice fish. I think we got us a smallmouth, baby. Let's go. Yeah, there we go. And there it is, baby. And there we go, that's how it's done. That is how you catch a small mouse, okay? His name is Charlie. Not that I've ever named a fish Charlie before. See ya. Peace out, Charlie. And that, that folks, is how it's done. So when you're coming out to go to this creek, don't come to this spot, okay? Stay home, okay, stay home. You'll be better off that way. You'll be happier. You'll be more uh, content with um, your shows that you like to watch on Netflix. I know you. I know you're the type. You like to drink wine and watch Netflix and eat chocolate. Yeah, I'm right. Okay, guys, this is that real good spot. Let's go nighty crawlies, okay? Buckaroo. Talking to you. Talking to you. There we go. Let's go. I got him now, buckaroo. Ayo. <laughs> they, they're all kind of small like this in this creek, but for the size that they are, he's pretty hefty. He's a hefty guy for this size. And that's, that's that, they're small mouths. I mean, he's looking real cool. Let's see if we can catch another one, but it's just such a cool fish. That's how you catch a small mouth, baby. You put your line in there and you yeet the jaw out, okay? Okay, buckaroo, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something. Give me a like, subscribe and comment. And if you're new, introduce yourself. And I hope you have a fantastic day. I love you. God bless.